How you doing guys? Uh, this is my first YouTube video, so um, I'm going to get right into it. What this is, is a video for the Samsung Vibrant GPS hardware fix. As you guys know, we've been having a lot of problems ever since the phone came out about the GPS and the problems about not locking on uh, or, or locking on and then it fading away back and forth. We've received software up updates, we've received so many things, but nothing seems to really work. So, um, first of all, I want to give credit to where credit is due. Now, please pay attention to the whole thing. This website that I'm showing you is not the full answer, okay? First and foremost, let me give the credit to KWKSLVR from XDADevelopers.com for posting a, uh, a, 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 uh, a bulletin that is called Correct Hardware GPS Fix. Now, if you guys want to Google just that alone, it will come up, you go to this page, and this is what it looks like. What this guy has done is he's uh, went through the process of finding out what the problem was. He goes into great detail, not only what the issue is, um, he also states why um, the issue is the way that it is, and then he has a fix for it. Now, the, the fix that he has for it is actually a great fix. In a nutshell, what he's telling you guys to do is he's telling you to take apart your phone, to find the GPS connection, and to bend it upwards so that it touches the top of the phone. The problem lies in the connection itself. Now, let me scroll down so you guys can get a gist. You can read through this anytime you want, but um, I'm, I'm going to go through a few things. He has pictures here, which is great. Now, what these, this first picture I'm showing you is the actual location of where that clip is. There it is. If you take off the back cover of your phone and you get down to the motherboard, this side that I'm showing you is where the volume control is. Right next to the volume control, he has an arrow. That right there is the lead for the GPS connection. That's what you're looking for. Now, let me close this and show you what it actually looks like. This is a sideways picture of what it looks like. Here we go. This is where the volume rocker is, and if you look right up close right there where the arrow is, that, my friends, is the problem that we've been having since day one with the Samsung Vibrant. Now, this connection right here, it bends. When you put the top of the phone back on, there's another copper lead that comes up on the top. This and the copper lead on the top are supposed to touch. Since they don't touch, that's your pro your GPS problem. Now, when you take your phone apart and look at it, this is actually corrected. Your phone, your clip, your, your connection clip is going to be lower. So the problem that we've been having is just a lack of connection. A lack of connection causes for not lock on or for it to, um, to lock on and just fade away after time. Uh, the makers of this phone have installed an actual, that's a very cheap lead. Uh, and that's an actual very cheap connection and that's what that's why the problem is it doesn't stay up so that's the problem now the fix for this is basically to take a flathead screwdriver and bend it upwards if you bend it up it touches the top of the phone and closes the connection now that is a great great fix I did it myself and as soon as I did it the phone came back to life the GPS actually locked on in my house that's never happened before. Now the problem was, is when I woke up the next day after being so excited, um, I noticed I was back to the same problem. When I took my phone apart, I realized that the, the, that lead was pushed back down again. So what the problem is, is it's so cheap it doesn't stay up. The fix works, but it doesn't stay up. I went to work and I talked to a friend at work. And this was his answer to our dilemma. If you'll take that fix and you add this what we have there is the perfect answer for the GPS problem what this is is a copper wire that you can find anywhere inside of your house this copper wire has a uh, I believe um, it had a it had a green coating on it that I've simply peeled back I also believe that this type of copper wire is a number 12 which makes it kind of thick you can find um, other copper wire that's thinner but just for the sake of doing exactly what I'm doing, I'm going to go with the number 12. So what I did is I took a pair of needle nose pliers and I trimmed off a very, very small piece. I'm talking about extremely small piece of copper wire from this number 12. 
what I did is I took that very small piece of copper wire and I stuck it, let me go back for you guys, I stuck it directly into there. I stuck it right in here, okay? Now what that did, since this lead right here that I'm pointing at is copper, I'm, all, I'm, I'm wedging in there the same thing. I'm wedging in there copper inside that copper lead. It does two things. Number one, it closes the connection from here to here. All right. Once it does that, it makes a stronger signal, a very strong signal. Also, what it does is it stops this lead right here from being pushed back down. It keeps it up and connected to the top at all times. So now, unfortunately, guys, I am on my Vibrant right now. I don't have another camera. So as of right now, you guys are going to have to take my word for it and try it. couple words of caution read the whole website that I'm showing you guys because this connection right here is extremely easy to break once you break that you'll have the worst GPS that any vibrant owner has because you won't have GPS at all please guys be extremely careful with that lead however if you're extremely careful and you're able to get that copper directly into there so that it props it up and close your phone what you're gonna have is the GPS that you've been wanting for a very long time I'm able to get a six second lock inside of my house on a constant basis. The, the, um, this, everything that I'm doing right here doesn't work also unless you, and I'm sorry, I, I, I should have said this. It doesn't work unless you have obviously the proper software installed. What I'm using right now is Heathen's GPS fix. Heathen's GPS fix, uh, does work. However, this is the second part of it. When you fix this and put this together with Heathen's GPS fix, you have a, a, an unbelievably strong um, GPS on your on your Samsung Vibrant. If you take that copper wire and put that in there, I'm pretty positive. I'm almost 100% positive because I've only tried this on a few phones that you'll not only get great reception, but I'm talking about you're going to get reception in your house. Um, and for, for us guys, that never happens. So I know this is word of mouth. I wish I had another Vibrant to take apart and show you guys exactly what to do. Um, I also wish that I could just uh, flip my phone around and show you the GPS on my phone and how quick it works. But if you know what you're doing and you want to take the time out to do this, I'm 99.9% .9 positive that you guys are going to be extremely happy and you won't have any more problems to worry about. All right? Now, post on the bottom. Let me know your findings. If you have any problems, please uh, uh, leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. I'm really excited about this um, because I've been plagued with this problem ever since. I love the phone, never wanted to get rid of it. I stuck it out. And finally, I truly believe that this is the absolute ultimate GPS fix for this phone. Thanks for your time, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.